Ray trace materials. Ray trace materials create very highly reflective and refractive materials or surfaces. So I'm going to go up to rendering. I'm going to go material editor and go to compact material editor. And over here where it says standard in my material type, I'm going to go to my ray trace. Double click on it or say OK. And now it builds me my ray trace basic parameters. Now, first of all, let's go and take a look at what do we mean by highly reflective and refractive uh, surfaces. So if I come down in here and take a look at this image here, uh, this ray tracing is a very advanced uh, way of taking and reflecting an image off of one uh, object to another. So here we have these balls, and they're reflecting on each other. So the image of whatever's on one ball let's get reflecting onto the other and so it's being reflective is what you see in, in one materials going reflecting on the other and refractive means when it's the light is being bent so these are more accurately done in ray trace materials and it is slower to render uh, it is calculating more uh, so uh, I want you to see what this looks like when we uh, actually can see something else, uh, a reflection onto another material. And so we come back down in here and we take a look at the basic parameters uh, rollout here. And we'll see that the ambient button color swash is selected. And this is the amount of ambient light that's absorbed by the material. And, and so black is, is the default color, and that's the maximum amount of absorption uh, of, of the material. And if we set this to a very light color, uh, then the ambient light will be reflective. So this will be reflected if it's a light color, and it will be a highly absorptive if it's a black or dark color. Um, let's see, we come down to the... Uh, reflect. Uh, uh, let's go to diffuse first. Oh, let's go to diffuse. Uh, this is the color of our specular highlights, so our shiny spot. So we set the color of what we want there, uh, and this is our shiny spot. Our reflect. Our reflect is used for the specular reflection color, so the shiny spot color. What is that color? And um, so uh, by default it's black does this mean it means we do not reflect anything so when we change it to white everything reflects all right and uh so we also have over here uh luminosity and uh, luminosity is kind of like self illumination in standard materials uh in this particular case um this is the color that's being illuminated, self-illuminated. Uh, if we uh, uncheck this, we get a grayscale color. Uh, transparency is uh, the transparency of the object. And so, um, if we, again, if we check this off, uh, then we get a grayscale. Um, so, and let's see, we also have our angle ref refraction down in here. And again, you can look up all those values based on the material on the internet, for example. And we also have the specular highlights. Uh, we looked at these earlier videos, uh, the specular color, the amount of specular level, so how, how, uh, sh how big is the, the shiny spot, etc. So, uh, in this particular case, our ray tracing is used for highly reflective surfaces and refractive surfaces. Refractive surfaces when light is bent. All right. So again, we're on ray trace, and we choose the type here on ray trace.